Hi, I'm Brian, your tutor for the Picking Numbers math lessons. The SAT math section seems to intimidate students more than any other part of the test, but there's no need to worry. I'm here to help you achieve the score you want by teaching you how to apply specific strategies. In this lesson, we'll go over the Picking Numbers strategy, which will help you break down seemingly complex math problems into manageable steps, saving you time and energy. No need to thank me. Helping you ace this test is all the reward I need. The picking number strategy is the process of plugging in numbers you come up with yourself for unknowns in the problem, which makes solving variable problems much easier. You can generally pick any number you'd like as long as you stay away from zero and one. While they are friendly numbers, they can lead to misleading answers. You can use the picking number strategy when the question and the answer choices include variables. Like in this problem where x, k, and n represent different values. The picking number strategy also comes in handy when the question asks for the relationship between two numbers or variables. Like in this question where we're asked to find how many years older Duke is than Lady. We can also use it when the question asks for the ratio between two unknown numbers. Like in this problem where we need to find what the ratio of r to t is. Finally. You can often use this strategy for questions with the words must be true or cannot be true, as in this example in which the question and answer choices include variables. Let's take a look at a problem similar to what you'll see on the SAT. Which of the following is equivalent to the expression 1 minus x squared over x for all non-zero values of x? All of the answer choices show math expressions with fractions and the variable x. The best time to use the picking number strategy is when you have variables in the question and in the answer choices. This lets us know that the variable specific value doesn't matter. What does matter is that the expression in the problem has to be equivalent to one of the answer choices. Each answer choice has the variable x, which lets us know that we can pick a number. For example, if we choose 3 for x, we would write x equals 3. As always, you want to write every step out as clearly as possible. It sounds obvious, but training yourself to write everything down goes a long way in avoiding errors. We then want to plug in the number we picked and solve for any other variables we're given. The expression given in the question 1 minus x squared over x becomes 1 minus 3 squared over 3, or 1 minus 9 over 3. Doing the subtraction, we have negative 8 thirds. Let's label the answer choices as negative 8 over 3 since that's what we're looking for as we plug into the answer choices. Our next step is to plug in x equals 3 into our answer choices. We're looking for an answer that matches the one we just found, negative 8 thirds. So if we plug in x equals 3 into answer choice A, 1 over x becomes 1 third. That doesn't match, so we'll have to keep looking. When we plug x equals 3 into answer B, we get 1 third minus 1, or negative 2 thirds. That doesn't match either. If we plug x equals 3 into answer C, we get 1 third minus 3. A quick bit of arithmetic, or some calculator action, and we get negative 8 thirds, exactly what we need. We aren't done yet. We still need to test choice D, just in case. If we plug into answer choice D, we get 1 third minus 9, or negative 26 over 3. Cross that one out. Since the only answer choice that matched was C, you can relax and enjoy your moment of triumph in the winner's circle. Our example was a pretty straightforward picking numbers problem, but you learn to always write out every step and to go through all of the answer choices, even when you find one that matches your initial answer. Knowing what to look out for in the question and answer choices will help you identify opportunities for the picking numbers strategy. Make sure you practice a few of the hundreds of problems available throughout this course.